Well, it turned out to be a pretty day today. Well, I haven't been riding for, I guess, four days. The last time I rode was Saturday. Today is the uh, September the 15th, so Saturday might have been the 10th, but I didn't ride Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. My back went out, and um, this has happened before, and it probably happened again. But I've got to learn to feel the symptoms before they get as bad as it did this time. <clears throat> I know my body needed rest, but I was pushing. Um, for the last two months, I've been pushing a little, a little bit, and just not taking enough rest days. So when the back did go out, it really set me back. My left leg uh, has nerve damage all the way down to the ankle. I'm hurting L, L4, L5, S1. And the cold weather uh, leading up to the back going out. Some of those mornings I wake up and it was like 52 degrees one morning when I went out. And I mean, it did warm up like it's warmed up today. But uh, that's just something that brings on the symptoms is the cold morning. And uh, man, I hate messing any days why it's this pretty it's been so good but i needed to sleep i needed the rest i needed to reju you know rejuvenate recharge my batteries so that's where i've been that's why i haven't been posting on strava or garmin, garmin connect facebook you know showing what i was doing because i just been resting i'm gonna go lightly for about three days and and not worry about the time or the miles and just just see what my body uh, uh, uh do but when i do get started back i had just posted that i wanted to ride every day in september <laughs> uh, i know now that I, I i i need to rest i can ride so many days and then i need not just to let a rest day be a recovery day where I, I light ride. I need to actually rest without riding. I think that will do more good than anything. So, and as the weather gets colder, I, I'm just going to have to go inside and, and uh, do the spinning classes at the OC here in uh, Ozark, Missouri. I've done it in the winters in the past. And, it seems to do kind of adequate. Hey, but there ain't nothing like riding through the winter. I've never done that, and I was setting my sights to be able to do that this year. I'm not giving up on it. I'm just, if my back goes out again, it's just telling me that uh, I just can't go as hard. I gotta slow down, I gotta take rest days. All right, well, that's all I'm gonna say about that. All right, they got to get these driveways in. They got to get drywall in that one down there. They got a lot of work still to do, but they're getting the grade right. They actually cut the road a little bit. That's interesting to see how they've done that. Well, look over here. They got the uh, back porch on. One of these units is ready to rent. I guess it's that one with the air conditioner. The one with the other air conditioner over there with the water, you can see it. It's already rented, I think. But uh, yeah, they got it going on. Well, as you can see, they poured the inside of the carport on both of these units. And this is the guy that's in charge. He's getting the grade right over there. And then he'll come back over here and they'll put the forms up here and get the grade right here. But as you can see, that is insulation being blown in. I take it that they're probably blowing it in the attic, but I haven't went over to look. They still need drywall in this, but I guess it's, I guess that's coming. The drywall is in pretty complete here. It looks like they're starting to trim the molding out. You got it looking good. All right, today is September 
the 15th. Man, I had to take four days off, I'll explain. And in, in, in this video or another video, why I had to take four days off. All right. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, today's the 24th, August the 24th, and I want to look, stop and look at this car. I'm on lap two, and uh, I really don't know what it is. It's, it's pretty. I can't tell by just looking at that. But it looks totally restored. Oh, there's some information. It's a 1954 flathead V8. Uh, three speed. There's the money. They want $15,000 for it. It's probably, probably worth that. Wow. It looks good. Shiny. Real shiny. You can kind of see what the dash looks like. And the seats and... Oh yeah. Headboard. Um, headboard, hell. <laughs> no, it don't have running boards. <laughs> oh, the tires are shiny. They are the rims. <laughs> pretty oh look at that motor wow a little bitty radiator but that's all it needed she called that a flathead well rearview mirrors are up kind of high look at that huh one over there and one over here all right, I'll show you that for sale sign so you can call the guy. When you do talk to him, tell him that your buddy, the, the guy that rides the bicycle, made a video and that's how you discovered it. And just tell him I said hi. <laughs> I don't mind helping people. As a matter of fact, I kind of go out of my way sometimes to help people. It's just, it's what we're supposed to do. <sighs> Nothing in return nothing you know just when we help it just comes back that's all it is to it please like us and share with your social media please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos stay tuned this video is creative commons you have permission to download copy and distribute it by any means What would you say about your 20s? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it somewhere in between? How would you look back on that, that decade in your life? I don't really like you, Luke, so I'm not going to answer your question. Right.